In this video, we're going to look at joint injuries and instability and why weight bearing views are very important when we are trying to assess for instability at the Liz Frank joint. This is a recent case and we have a fracture through the base of the fourth metatarsal. The Liz Frank joint here actually looks fine. There's no widening. The space between the first cuneiform and the base of the second metatarsal is not widened and we can't see a flake fragment. Now, this is the same patient with weight-bearing views. And now we have widening of that space between C1 and the base of the second metatarsal. There's widening of that space. And additionally, what we see is a small fragment here. So this is the small flake fragment, which we couldn't see on the non-weight-bearing views. And so now we have evidence of instability at this Liz Frank joint. So the important thing when assessing an X-ray is that if you can do a weight-bearing view for midfoot trauma, because you're more likely to see instability on a weight-bearing view than you would on a non-weight-bearing view. Although it may not be possible to do a weight-bearing view because often the patient's in quite significant pain and they won't be able to weight bear. So if it is possible, then try and do a weight-bearing view. Additionally, comparison views of the contralateral foot are also very useful. So do weight-bearing and non-weight-bearing views of both feet and look for subtle instability. So you're looking for subtle widening on the affected side. And often this is easier to recognize that subtle widening when you do a direct comparison with the normal foot. So if you're doing weight-bearing, do a contralateral image as well. If you'd like to see more of these videos, you can follow us on YouTube or come to our website or even join our WhatsApp group. The number is here. We post these fairly regularly and the aim of these is to make it very practical for our day-to-day -day reporting. We also have online and on-site mini fellowships and the aim of these, like all our teaching, is to be very practical. It's all about what will make it easier for us to more accurately assess a scan at work and put out very confident reports. We have quite a number of them. So if you'd like to join us, we have regular online courses on foot and toe imaging, and we also have on-site mini fellowships.